Well, hello, everybody. It's me again. It's been a while since I've been on here, but, you know, you know, uh, I'm back, you know. Uh, I got uh, some help with me. Who I got? You got the one and only famous Jamal again. Then you got the star-studded TC. Well, what that is? Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't be no hater now. <laughs> Don't be no hater. But anyway, what, what, what we got going on here today? I mean, another ratchet, modern, Bob rabbit, bobcat, black woman. Black women keep losing again. When they had a chance to set up a good opportunity, they choose to go down the wrong road. Where did I say that women belong? If you can't handle power, stay in the kitchen, scrubbing them floors, mm -hmm. cooking those meals, and changing those pampers. See, this this supposed to be the era black women are winning, but black women are losing. Yeah, <laughs> these old modern day women mm -hmm. ain't hadn't learned nothing, acting like old crazy wild bobcats. First, you got Tiffany Henry, Michelle Owens. Gina Hill. Gina Hill and uh, Ken, Fanny Fanny uh, May. Big Fanny Pack May Williams. And Catrell, yeah, Regina Hall. Mm. And what's the uh, commissioner that was in Atlanta that was drunk uh, drunk out of her mind? I can't remember her name. What was her name? <laughs> I what her name was. Now this supposed to be an opportunity for black women to set an example, yet we keep they keep losing. Losing. <laughs> keep losing. It stay in the kitchen, mm -hmm. scrub those floors, and cook those meals. That's where you belong. And change your diapers. Yeah, and if, you know, change either change your uh, diapers or change your grandkids' diapers. That's where you belong. Now this is the she was the first black probate judge in Atlanta, mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. destroyed everything. Mm -hmm. now, let's watch this video when we get back to you. Tonight in the long-running investigation, the Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In a rare move, a hearing panel decided Peterson is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence. And incompetence. In office. Now, you got to hear why this judge... Oh, by the way, we got this video from Nate the Lawyer. Mm. And like, share, comment, and subscribe. ...was kicked off the bench, and she's going to scream racism because she's finally being held accountable for her actions. Let's get into it. They call her incompetent. Mm -hmm. Wow. This is Judge Christina Peterson. She was elected as the first black woman probate judge mm. in Douglas County, Georgia. Wow. This happened in 2020. Now, during that time, there was this wave of female empowerment and mm. progressive change in politics. Some examples are Letitia James in New York, Fanny Willis in Fulton County, mm. Georgia, Tiffany A. Hinyard in Dalton, Illinois, and Judge Christina Peterson. I, Christina J. Peterson, do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly affirm. Now, Judge Peterson claimed to be a powerful and educated black woman who defied stereotypes. Now, as a black woman, she demanded to get paid more than the previous probate wow. judge. See, the previous judge made about $96,000 a year, but Peterson said she needed to make more. She wanted to make what the senior judges were making, mm. and that was about $173,000 per year. But wow. Peterson was just a first-time judge. How can you have an inexperienced judge just come in and demand to be paid what judges who have been there for 10 years make? This is what happened. New developments in a Fox 5 I-Team investigation involving how big a paycheck a newly elected judge should be getting. Fox 5 I-Team reporter Randy Travis says taxpayers won't be paying the judge as much as she wanted, but still more than some elected leaders feel that she deserves. I'm looking for fairness across the board. And for soon-to-be Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson, fairness would be to make $175,000. What, what happened? $175,000 your first year? Your first year, you ain't As never a, got, ain't got a one day of experience, but you want to make as much as somebody in the Supreme Court of, of uh, Atlanta make. Really? What you got to say about this, T.C.? Ridiculous. <laughs> Just ridiculous. <laughs> First year, uh, probate judges only handle 700 cases a year. 600. 600. And mm -hmm. the other judges do 
ten thousand years. Ten and thirteen thousand years. And and this and this uh hood rat. I hate to call her hood rap. She got the hood rap, rap mentality. mentality. This hood rap mentality modern woman come up here talking about, I want her to tell me to die. Yeah, I, I, I deserve it. I deserve I, it. I want more. More? more. There's, there's no more. <laughs> For her, there was more. And then you're going to have the nerd to holler racism. racism. <laughs> And you were incompetent. I mean, now you 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 seen as being incompetent, but you want more. And fairness across the board is you taking the minimum salary for a first year judge. She knew how much it paid before she accepted the position. Well, let's play some more. Now with the superior and state court judges in Douglas County, you're getting it's not being fair and consistent. I have those same qualifications as no, you anyone don't. else. Forget that she's never been a judge before, and the probate judge's job is mainly to process wills, birth certificates, and marriage licenses. Wow. The man she's replacing made $96,000 a year. She knew what the pay was when she signed up to run. Now, the chief judge then weighed in on this claim by Judge Peterson that she was being discriminated against because wow. she was a woman, and that's why she wasn't getting paid with the other judges were getting paid. See, the Chief Justice showed the numbers, and a probate judge handles about 700 cases Oh, it was 700. Year, where mm-hmm. other judges handle about 10,000 cases per year. The issue was so contentious in Douglas County that the Chief Judge of Superior Court offered his opinion before the budget vote. Sending commissioners this letter listing the small number of probate court cases, 647, compared to the caseload for all the other courts. It's not fair to compare that court to the other judges. But Judge Peterson screamed racism and sexism. And the Democrats who were on the committee who decides who gets paid what came down on the judge's side. Of making course. her the highest paid judge in the county. Mm-hmm. Even though she had no experience. She had race. Remember, she was the first black woman. But commissioners would do just that. Voting three to two that since Peterson is an attorney and her predecessor is not, she deserved a supplement of $36,688 to go with her state mandated $88,110 a year salary. She'll make at least $124,000 a year. We have a 3 2 vote of you, most of parents. But that's not all. State law allows the probate judge to keep any fees paid for birth and death certificates. This year in Douglas County, that added up to more than $70,000. Wow. Retiring Judge Hal Hamrick kept half, returning the other half to the general fund. Mm. Judge Peterson mm. says she will keep it all. Wow. If I that bet. fee amount repeats next year, her actual pay could rise to as much as $194,000. Wow. That would be more than... Give me, give me more. Of course she going to take it all. <laughs> the hood rat mentality. <laughs> you, you, think, you think she going to turn down some free money? She's trying to fly first class up in the sky, live a glamorous life. And she <laughs> don't know nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, you know, that that's being fair now. You know them white folks in that town mm-hmm. wasn't going to put up with that. Not for long. You, know, you, you might have got away with it, but they ain't going to be quiet and, and make it more than the uh, uh, highest paid like judge in, judge in, the, in, the, in, in, in the state in, make. Yeah, I know. Right? And you think they're going to sit back <laughs> and let you make more than them? And they got all that. Really? really? What you, what you think about that, T? A foe would be a fool at any cost. <laughs> well, why you got to be greedy? Why? I'm greedy fool on top of that. Why well, you got to cut your nose off to spite your face? Well, no saying goes. A fool and the money will soon be separated. <laughs> well, you know, why not just keep your mouth closed and stay in there? And I mean, she still would be making more money because. You got seventy thousand dollars in fees that she took, yeah. and she was making eighty-eight, eighty-eight uh, thousand. So that's that's about one hundred sixty-nine, hundred seventy thousand right there. That's Why true. could she just sit in there and and got got the money, got the experience that she needed, and learn the job and take the money? But no, well, uh, well, daddy, well daddy. she was giving the money. 
And what she weren't used to, uh, uh, I guess the deputies or the security doing screen people in, she weren't used to nobody telling her no. Yeah, mm-hmm. but she still would have been making more money because she kept, she kept all the fees and everything. Well, let's play more of this of why this oh, country Bama could not keep her money. One of the most city girl mentality. Yeah. Any other judge in the Douglas County Courthouse. DEI for the win. <laughs> now, remember, Judge Peterson also gets to keep any fees paid for birth certificates and death certificates under the law. Now, according to Douglas County records, in 2022 and in 2021, mm-hmm. she averaged about $140,000 in fees. <laughs> now, not only did that make her one of the highest what? paid judges in the county, if not the highest, but she's even getting paid more than the Georgia Supreme Court wow. Chief Justice, who only makes two hundred and sixteen thousand. Wow! Combined with the fees, Peterson makes two hundred and sixty-five thousand really? dollars a year, fifty thousand dollars more than the Chief Justice wow. on the Georgia Supreme Court. <laughs> then there's how much she makes. Last year, Peterson made two hundred sixty-six thousand dollars, more than any judge in the courthouse, more than the Supreme Court justices who will eventually decide her fate. That's largely due to her ability to keep all the birth and death certificate fee money from last year, around one hundred thirty-nine thousand mm. dollars, in addition to her one hundred twenty-seven thousand dollars wow. annual salary. She can legally do that because, unlike some other counties. The Douglas County Board of Commissioners never put a cap on those fees. It's not your fault. It's our fault because we did not cap something. Earlier this month, Commissioner Ann Jones Guider proposed a $50,000 cap. We never capped anybody else. Why now? Because. I'm saying take it all away. I'm saying you got to start somewhere. Make it reasonable. There's no reason any county official should be making a quarter of a million dollars. There you go. Now, when people inquired about it, the judge screamed racism. And guess what? They allowed her to keep every single dime of the fees. Mm. Now, this is DEI in action. You got a rookie judge handling a small fraction of cases, getting paid more than any other senior judge there, and all because she's black. Now, mm. after all of that was settled, then a video surfaced of Judge Peterson campaigning. Now, in this video, she's pretending to be a white man with mm. a mustache giving explicit sexual relationship advice wow. to online followers. Check it out. Give me quiet. I don't want to hear about it no more. While running for probate judge in 2020, Christina Peterson posted a satirical, sometimes sexually graphic video of her playing a white man giving dating advice to a black woman. Now, even though that was bad, judges aren't allowed to solicit the public for personal donations, right? Give me money. How much money she want? (laughs) She want it all. Authorities looked. They found that that's exactly what this judge did. She was asking the judge it. for Look at a city girl. Look like an only fans <laughs> person. Look like a street walker. Up that <laughs> want money. I mean, you already make uh, almost three hundred thousand dollars a year, and you want more. Yeah, there's a big old horse thigh hanging out. Them big old <laughs> boobies hanging out. I mean, what wh- what's she trying to get? <laughs> that's how she go get her money. She trying to get her a man too. Maybe a little bow. <laughs> Good money and a man? She want money and the honey. <laughs> wow. I mean, don't you look like Omni fan? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's play some more. She is to her cash app from the public on her birthday. Now, again, mm. judges are forbidden from soliciting donations from the public directly, especially on their official public page. Christina Peterson has only been a judge six months, but already mm. she faces allegations. Wow. She's brought, quote, disrepute upon her office. Wow. In a filing from the Judicial Qualifications Commission, the group that investigates complaints against judges, Peterson is accused of using her social media account to solicit cash donations wow. for her birthday. According to the JQC complaint, on her birthday last August, Peterson posted this on her official Christina J. public Instagram page. Uh-huh. A picture of herself wearing a birthday tiara and listing her Cash App account. Mm. Quote, if anyone feels like sharing their quarantine wealth. 
Wow. When JQC investigators contacted the judge this year, the complaint says Peterson explained she thought that post was to her private personal Whatever. And I was wondering on that day why I was getting cash app from people I didn't know. The JQC said in her Instagram bio, Peterson called herself judge elect. If it was done in public, it's a cardinal violation, which is an intolerable uh, activity for a judge to do. A judge cannot stand up and say, I'm a judge, send me money. So Judge Peterson was breaking all the rules, and that was even before she got sworn in as a judge. Uh -huh. Wow. Then she became Judge Peterson, who, as we saw earlier, has an issue with interracial relationships. Now, the judge had to deal with an issue concerning a Thai immigrant who married a black man. Now, P.G. Skelton married in Douglas County in 2016. Now, this was before Peterson took office. Now, Skelton had written her uncle's name on her original marriage license because she didn't know her father's name. So she wrote her uncle's name on the document because that is who raised her. That was her father at the time. Then later, she discovered her father's real name. So she went to get her marriage license amended. Oh, well, she so shouldn't have done that. Uh -huh. She changed the name of the marriage license and went in front of Judge Peterson. Uh -huh. Now, Judge Peterson, seeing an Asian woman married to a black man, decided to make things difficult. Peterson told her that she had to come to court and then ordered her jailed for 48 hours. <laughs> wow. She just fined $500. 48 hours wow. and $500 because she wanted to fix her marriage certificate. No, because she was an yeah. Asian woman married to a black man. Mm. So that tell me, that tells me Miss Christina ain't married. Miss mm. Christina's hating. Yeah, that's what that is. But she, if she had a husband on her side, he would have talked some sense into her. <laughs> Lord, man, these women that ain't got no man ain't got no way to release all that frustration. That's what it is. They going crazy. So, they losing their minds. The goose is loose. They, they make toys for that. Well, you know, that ain't a, a toy ain't the same as a nice, warm. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hunk of a good looking thing okay. whispering in your ear, blowing in your <laughs> looking, I love you, baby. Looking lovely in your eyes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> and you feeling the muscles and you know your bed ain't cold no more. Ain't oh. nothing like the real thing. That's baby. right. <laughs> so they going crazy, they losing their mind. <laughs> Losing mind with sexual frustration. I mm. mean, you no, know, that gotta go somewhere. I guess so. <laughs> what do you think about the TC? I mean, whatever you do, you get. You deserve what you get. Yeah, but, you know, see, when you want it all, when you're the modern woman and you, you want, you it, all, want it all, you can't You can't have it all. You got you to gotta give something up. I can't be satisfied. You already done played your case and kind of counted out of money, but now you want more. She want more. She she like, why, why that Thai woman got a, got a black hunk and I don't? Man, I ain't got nothing. I know better than she do. Shoot. Hmm. All she do is go get a pookie out of jail. <laughs> yeah, get a pookie out of jail. She don't want no pookie. She <laughs> want the, she want a good thing. She, she, yeah, she's okay with a pookie. Yeah, she be okay with a pookie. Well, uh, uh, when you look like Tiffany, you got to settle for a pookie. Is <laughs> that right? Them big old spotlight eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny Williams was at Cellar for a Pookie. She worked at work. Well, look how, oh, she looked like a Petunia Pig. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, she herself for one, too. You got an old Nathan Hot Dog. Yeah. So, today, they want what they want. They want whatever they want. But they can't get it all. You got to mm -hmm. give up something. You yeah. got to sacrifice something. Well, let's play some more of this. For contempt. I just don't have a memory, something like that. I don't know who he is. The most troubling, wrote the panel, Peterson's decision to jail this woman for trying to amend her marriage certificate wow. to include the real name of her recently discovered father. Did you go to this hearing um, with any idea that you may be going to jail? No. PJ Skelton served two days of a 20 day jail sentence for, 20 day. for her husband could pay a $500 fine. Wow. Such a hasty and shockingly disproportionate reaction is the hallmark of Peterson's intemperance. Now, even Peterson acknowledged that this was too harsh for her to jail and find this woman who sought to amend her marriage license. And she did all this 
while the woman wasn't even represented by an attorney. Uh -huh. Then Judge Peterson decided that she wanted to allow some of her friends to get married at the courthouse. Wow. So Judge Peterson asked the sheriff if she could just let her guest in without being screened. The sheriff told her no, this was a security issue. But Judge Peterson said, the hell with the rules. <laughs> She's the judge. And she allowed them to come into the courthouse unscreened anyway. On a Saturday afternoon this past April, probate judge Christina Peterson, seen on this security video in the black robe, presided over a wedding inside the closed Douglas County Courthouse. Look at that. This happened, mm -hmm. even though Peterson was told something, judges don't often Look at that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You cannot go in this building, and eventually she went in. Now's the time. Save 10% or 30% off of Spore Collection during this Bora at Kohl's savings event. This the sheriff's office said Peterson had whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Deputies <laughs> opened the courthouse that Saturday to make sure anyone entering the building was properly scanned. <laughs> but when no one else showed up that morning, the deputies locked up and left. Hours later, Peterson arrived and opened the courthouse, ignoring the sheriff's office orders, and let the wedding party and guests wander the second and third floor of the wow. courthouse. Unscreened. If you don't go through the screening station and you're a citizen, you could drop off a gun, put it in the trash can in the bathroom. There's places in there you can hide things that could hurt people. Did the judge put anybody at risk that day? Uh, she put all of the employees that work in this courthouse and the citizens who would come that Monday morning at risk. So, Judge Peterson didn't care about the rules. She is the law. Now, Judge Peterson had a county credit card that was only supposed there to be There we go. <laughs> but investigators found there we go. Uh, credit, cards that again. credit card for USAA insurance totaling about $4,400. Now, Peterson didn't provide any reason why the county would need mm. to pay for USAA insurance. Meanwhile, the GBI continues investigating whether Douglas County employees mm. misuse their purchase cards to buy personal items. Judge Peterson doesn't have a P card, but she does have a county credit card. Mm. We found around $4,500 charged to USAA insurance. Peterson did not provide records showing the county purpose for those charges. Her attorney offered no additional information. Wasn't it, was Judge Peterson worried all about this GBI investigation? Now, on top of that, Peterson was also involved in a war with her homeowners association, or <laughs> mm. HOA. See, Judge Peterson went to an HOA meeting and decided to threaten the homeowners There we go. Because she was a judge. Now, eventually, there was a settlement of all claims between Judge Peterson and the HOA. But Judge Peterson was representing some clients. Now, the HOA essentially settled for, I think, $70,000. But the people who Judge Peterson represented never got a dime of that Oh, money. wow. Okay, judge knows what she's talking about. Listen to her. She got two pending lawsuits against us right now. The angry reaction to Peterson stems from a lawsuit she and others filed in 2017 against the HOA that led to a $70,000 settlement. According to a complaint filed against her by the Judicial Qualifications Commission, Peterson never shared that money with her clients. Yeah, she just up and bounced with the cash. <laughs> and wow. And if anybody criticized Judge Peterson, she played the race card. You're racist. You're only complaining wow. because she's a black woman. And when county staff criticize her actions, it quickly triggers allegations of obstructionism or even racism. Wow. Yeah, you know, look at that. You already made... Almost two hundred eighty thousand dollars a year. Still won't and more. still want more. When is enough <laughs> enough? Who knows? And he only did this for six months, and he didn't last two, three years. When is enough? And mm. I mean, why, why? Will somebody please tell me why these modern day women think they can do whatever they want? I guess he went, went to Tiffany A. Henry school. <laughs> I mean, this is just ridiculous. I mean, you 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 bringing you bringing marks against yourself. You 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 hindering your own career. Yep. I mean, they judging her as incompetent, which she probably is, cause she she didn't have any experience. You already made two hundred eighty thousand dollars. Now you want seventy thousand dollars to keep to yourself. Well, she, she mm -hmm. did keep it to her. She didn't want to keep it. She mm -hmm. did keep it. 
And she think that's okay. When is enough enough? And every time you say something, oh, you, you said that because I'm black. What you think, Tim? <laughs> well, maybe if the people do so to me at work, maybe you're doing this because I'm black. Is that an excuse? <laughs> that's what you need to start saying. <laughs> if, I, if I wasn't black, you wouldn't be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> you can get some money from <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, shoot. It pays to be black, don't it? When you're in, in these high high paying positions, uh, it, it to, pays to, to be until it runs out. And yeah, until <laughs> some people get tired of you. Yeah. I'll play some more. Actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, mm. and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. Mm. Look at that crying now. American female and Democrat. Oh, yes. whatever. I was never celebrated or congratulated. <laughs> because you are a lying thief. On my day of swearing in, I was sworn in by Judge Emerson. I received my first JQC complaint. Now, after these 30 charges were dropped on Peterson, she defended herself. My name is Nina Palmer, and I'm a dietetics and applied nutrition major. Self. And her main defense was that she was an inexperienced judge. And she had promised that all of the additional training that she received had helped her overcome no. this inexperience. No. But the problem is that Peterson is the highest paid judge in that county. So the most inexperienced judge should be given a pass for all these ethics violations, even though she's being paid more than any other judge. Wow. Peterson's main defense was her inexperience. Wait a minute. Now look at this. No, wait a minute. Look at this. Everybody know the tears of a black woman ain't got no power. No power. And you're like, I, I did. I no, was, I, I, I wasn't <laughs> celebrating. I, I, nobody, I'm, I'm a black woman and nobody celebrated me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. That's why I couldn't do my job right now. I, I, I felt like nobody cared about me. I, I, I'm sorry. You sound like Rex on Jimmy Fox. <laughs> 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 you know what? I, I learned now. I learned better. I, he, 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 I, took, I, some, I took some more training. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a black woman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all done over this. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. We're done. <laughs> Play some more. The problem she promised has been addressed through additional training. But the panel was not buying it. The report also cited multiple examples of failure to actually do her job. Needlessly delaying petitions before her office. Mm. The hearing panel said Peterson was guilty of systemic incompetence. Wow. Judges were expected to act in a manner that promoted the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. Wow. The respondent has shown that she cannot or will not do so. And so, she must go. Now, it's up to the state Supreme Court to weigh in. Remember, this is a probate judge who is making more than any judge on the Supreme Court. Side. I know. So what do you think will happen to her? Mm -hmm. County. City has hearing officers voted unanimously to remove her from the bench. Of course they did. Extraordinary development tonight in the long-running investigation the Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In a rare move, a hearing panel decided Peterson is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence mm. and should not remain in office. Now... We have clients who don't got their money. You have people getting locked up for no apparent reason. Mm. This judge seems to have gone rogue. But what do you think is going to happen? Do you think? I think she. I think she go, go get some jail time. Well, I know she go get kicked out because she's making more money than the than the the, the members of the Supreme Court. Well, so go. you think they go let her stay in there <laughs> after she can't even do her job mm -hmm. right, and she making more than they making? And that she's seeing less clients than they see, mm -hmm. and they gonna let this this ratchet City girl, this ratchet mm -hmm. rabbit bobcat, <laughs> stay in mm -hmm. office. No, what they didn't want it there in the first place. Nope. So you had a one chance to show that you're different from the rest, and show black people can do better. All she had to do. Was take that money that they gave her and and learn how to do the job. That she learned how to do the job correctly, then ask for more money. 
That's true. And she really didn't need more because she, she, she was able to keep $139,000 in fees. So mm-hmm. why did she need a bigger paycheck when she when every year she get to keep all that money? Who knows, boy? Like you said, you had one chance to be a role model to the black community, and you just pissed it down the drain. Incompetent. <laughs> greedy. <laughs> Think she's special. Want it all. No one don't want to live a glamorous life. Well, you know, this this feminine movement messed a lot of women up. Yes, it is a women empowerment movement, but they all messing up. But the, the, the thing about this, what black women are forgetting, this movement was for white women. Black, didn't nobody care whether the black woman had any power or not, but they jumped on that train. Right. And and they didn't they they felt like they were being persecuted by black men. What how were black men holding black women down? <laughs> they wasn't. Black men being held down. So how are you gonna hold somebody else down? So they wanted to be the man in the relationship. But mm-hmm. you know that goes back to the curse that came upon women in the, in the Bible when women it was a woman who. Got us all kicked out of the garden. I mean, let's just go back to the real deal. A woman got us all kicked out of the garden because she wanted it all. She wanted it all. She wanted it all, so she just got to eat from any tree in this garden, any tree. Look at all these trees I got here for you, girl, but don't touch that See, one. See, that's the problem. People want what they can't have. She had to go make a beeline straight to the tree that God told her to stay away from. Then she talked the old spineless weak husband into biting the apple too. I guess that you don't, you don't bite the apple, you ain't gonna get none tonight. Okay, okay. <laughs> but and one of the curse that was on the women woman was God said she's gonna want to take the man's place. Is that right? That was a curse that he put on her. She, uh, the man was gonna be the head, but she go try to take over. Mm. And is this not happening today? No, now the women got to get out and work. They had it good till Eve got it in there, and then they mm-hmm. don't know what to do when they get out there and get what they want. They don't know what to do with it oh, really? because they were never meant to be in positions like that. Well, until next time, like, share, comment, subscribe. Any final statements? T, you got anything to say? I ain't got nothing to say. All I can say is, people, please, please, let's get it right. Let's get to the. You make us all. Look bad. You make us all. Can we just get it right? Can we just do the right thing? Can we? See, the thing is, every race do something wrong. But guess who they guess who they watching more? Of course, they watching the black people. Us, of course, because they don't want you in that position anyway. They waiting for us to mess up, and yet time and time again we keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> but you know, uh, you know that little button on there with the thumb up. Hey, how, how about going down there and click that thing? It don't cost you nothing. Click it. Then go slide over to where it says subscribe. Click that one. Then go down where it said comment and leave a comment. What do you think about this? Do, do, what do you think about this old girl? Well, until next time, people, we out. Bye.